Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another video tutorial. This is not gonna be about music production, but it is very important for music producers on Windows. So as most of you know, I do full-time video work for Plugin Boutique and I get you know, all the plugs essentially. I get so many plugins, it's ridiculous. I constantly have to erase plugins even though I don't want to because I only have 223 gigabytes on my C drive. This is a solid state drive and then I have a terabyte on the D drive. This is a pretty common situation. And even though most modern plugins allow you to put like the content library on the D drive, not all of them do. And on top of that, some manufacturers put files in many different places. And sometimes you can't find them. Sometimes their website doesn't even tell you where the information is. And even if you go in and uninstall with, you know, Windows program, or uninstall using the uninstall the XE from the program itself, it leaves a lot behind in some cases. So I'm gonna show you how to find that and delete that. So you can look at this as a tutorial of cleaning up your C drive and keeping it, you know, I've got 85 gigabytes free. This morning before I started doing this process, I only had uh, just above 50. And once you go above 50, things start to happen. Uh, you're, it just doesn't work right, essentially. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to use this program called WinDIRSTAT or Windows Directory Statistics. And it's a free program, I'll leave a link to it. And what it does is scans your entire computer and shows you file sizes and it's very, very helpful. So what I'm gonna do is run that right now. And by the way, like I said, I've already deleted about 30 gigabytes of stuff. I already found and deleted 30 gigabytes of stuff using this method. I've done it before in the past, but I was just like, you know what? I should probably do the video tutorial. It's not the, the most glamorous thing, but it's, it's information for people who produce on Windows should know. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay. And what it's doing right now is just, it's gonna zip through and it does it very, very quickly and finds all of the file sizes of different programs it finds WAV files, if they're in there, it finds VST3 files, it finds everything, and then it will show me very colorfully uh, where things are. And I'm gonna let it do it and then come back when it's done. Okay, so here we go, it's finished now, and it's got this really cool graphic down here. These are all of the files on my C drive, every single one of them. If I click this big green one, it will bring me to where that is inside of the systems and show me this is the page file system. You know, it's a pretty big file, but I need that. You don't want to erase, just go in here and go buck wild. If I click right here, this is the uh, mail, uh, Alienware Command Center, for example. But if you come over here to this one, it will really show you, kind of breaks down the file type. So if I come down here to WAV files, and if I click that, it'll actually highlight for me where those WAV files are. And if I click on one of the individual files, it'll bring it uh, to it. And if I come up, I'll see where that is. For example, this is in an Arturier folder, okay? And this is actually what I wanted to show you guys. I've already deleted uh, this plugin and I'm not trying to call out Arturia here. I'm just trying to say uh, files get put in places and sometimes they don't get erased when you uninstall. I've already uninstalled that. And in fact, if I open up uh, the Arturia software center, you'll see that I don't even have this installed. It's not installed. So when I uninstalled it, it did not delete these WAV files that it used for the library. So what I can do now is click on that, right click and go to open and it's gonna bring me to the files. And I don't need any of these files because I don't have this Analog Lab 4, which is what I had before, and I can just delete that. I've just cleared up 1.5 gigabyte of space that wasn't being used by something that I was actually using. Uh, another one, if you look over here, is the AE cache file, which is 22 gigabytes in size. So what I'd want to do now, and this is kind of outside of music production, obviously, but before I had uh, my Ableton cache on the C drive and I didn't realize. So in fact, let me show you if you use Ableton Live, what that is. You can actually move that. I'm going to launch Ableton. And I didn't move it when I moved everything else. I moved my content library. I moved, you know, everything. Uh, my VSTs are on a 
the D drive, the content libraries on the D drive, but I forgot to move the cache file and I didn't know how big it would get. And it was like a couple of gigabytes. If you come into preferences and you come into file folder, I didn't change it. It's down here. It's called the cache folder. So like if you bring in an MP3 uh, from your music library and you're manipulating it, it will actually cache that. So the next time you bring it in, it will load up very quickly. Now you can select sort of how much the minimum free space to use if you're going to have a decoding cache you can change the maximum size so uh, if it goes above this it will just automatically delete it you can clean it right up uh, just by clicking that button once and you can also browse and select a folder on your d drive for that so here you can see for my temporary folder i moved that to the documents here i moved it to ableton cache uh, you know, I probably should have put it there to stay organized, but really my main focus here was to get it off of the C drive because that's where I want just my operating stuff. You can also move your location, blah, blah, blah. So this is getting kind of more focused for Ableton Live, but any DAW that I know of allows you to do this in some capacity and you should take advantage of it if you have a small SSD for your operating system. So that being said, I'm going to jump out of here again. Uh, the next thing I would do to clean up space and I can actually save 22 gigabytes of space is jump into the AE cache. So I'd go open up Adobe After Effects and delete it from there. You know, I can also come down here. I've already deleted this, but you can see I've got some WAV files over here. And this was actually from, I believe, the, yeah, some leftover files from when I moved it before so that I'm not using any of that. I can jump in and clean it up. And there's some over here. What is this about? Okay, so here I've got some contact instrument stuff. Uh, impulse responses. It's not a huge amount. Uh, if I see right here, it's only 58 megabytes. So I can probably leave that for now, but I can remember that it's there in the future. So this is an extremely helpful program and it's free. And I just wanted to shout it out for you guys. This isn't like how to be the next top producer, but this is how to keep your computer clean and healthy. Another thing you want to do inside of Windows is disk cleanup. And if I click right there, you choose what drive again we're going to check out c I'm just going to sort through them and i actually i've already done this but if you come in here um you can see that uh temporary files might be really big i had like 16 megabytes i mean 16 gigabytes so you just click that and hit delete and it will delete all that it's safe to delete those it's safe to delete the temporary internet files and you know you just check what you're going to be deleting because you don't want to delete anything else but this is another way to clean up stuff real quick and this is a way to get even more specific and find files that maybe you deleted or thought you deleted but didn't actually get deleted so anyway that was just a quick video if you're running out of space or if you're just ocd like me and want to keep things really clean and tight and running right use this program i'll leave a link to it in the video description uh, it's free, but you can't donate to the creator. So if you can, I suggest doing it because, man, it is such a lifesaver. It makes finding those files really, really easy. So I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.